lively. And right. okay, first of all, I really like dogma. Thank you. And I was wondering, a, it's two parts. Okay. Okay. A, do you believe in God? Yes. And B, why or why not? So yes. why? Oh. Um, why? Yes, I believe in God. Why? Because I have a career. <laughs> There can be no better explanation or, or, or proof for the existence of God than the fact that I have a film career. All right. I think so. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Uh, my name Where's is... Where's the camera? There's no camera on you. Uh, well, that's okay. Um... Somebody is sending you a very clear message. So... <laughs> Um, my name is David Klesch, and I was just wondering if you could talk about the effect of your uh, Catholic upbringing in your movies, uh, specifically Dogma. I would imagine that watching Dogma, that would be very, very clear. <laughs> um, but since you asked... Uh... I, uh, I grew up very Catholic. I went to uh, eight years of Catholic school. But it's, uh, I, really dug, I really dug the faith when I was a kid, and, and then as I got older, started struggling with it, as most people uh, do. And, um, and, and was just like, wait a second. Like, it's, I, I appreciate the message, and I appreci appreciate uh, who Christ was and what Christ did, but I'm not really into the dogma. I.e., I want to fuck before I get married. Um, <laughs> So, uh, but no, but it, it stretched beyond that. Like, I, and, and I think by the time I started really questioning, I was about 18, 18, 19. And um, I started wondering, like, wait a second, like, you know, we hold the book, the Bible, to be like the Word of God. And meanwhile, you know, many, many years ago, a bunch of Grecians and, and Egyptians held their books to be the Word of God's. And now we read their shit as literature and chuckle at silly stories and... Will someone one day read our books and chuckle as silly stories? And if that's the case, then is there a God? Did we just create God? Did somebody create God so that I would just quit asking questions and things like that? And, and uh, went through a real crisis of faith and um, worked through it um, years later by working on dogma, by writing dogma. And that's kind of where the idea came from, the crisis of faith. And then by the end of writing the first draft of dogma, I was like, no, I know exactly where I stand on, on religion. Um, I believe in faith. I believe in God. I believe in Christ. I'm a Christian. Um, I'm a really spiritual person, but I, religion gets a lot of people in a lot of trouble. Because when we were making that movie, when we were making it, it was fine. But when we were working on post-production, getting ready to put that movie out, it was fucking nuts. Like, we got death threats. We had 300,000 pieces of hate mail and three death threats. Or two. Two and a half death threats. Because <laughs> I think one recanted toward the end. I'm going to fucking kill you. Well, maybe not. <laughs> but uh, there's one that I, that I will never forget, and I will take it with me to my grave, and not the actual missive, but what it said. And I read it so many times. I've read it to people so many times that I committed it to memory. Um, and it said, you Jews better take that money you stole from us and start investing in flak jackets because we're coming in there with shotguns. Your brothers in Christ, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Um, and the, the Jews in question, of course, were uh, Harvey and Bob Weinstein, the guys that run Miramax and, and Dimension, who were originally putting out the flick. See, they got it the worst, right? Like, I was Catholic, so people would just be like, you ought to know better. But you're Jew buddies, they're going to pay. <laughs> and, you know, you don't want to point out that Christ was Jewish, because um, these people tend to forget that. <laughs> Jewish? No, he's a wasp. Um, <laughs> But it was insane. They uh, had to open our mail for a while. We had to stop receiving mail at the office. They had to have a service open it. We couldn't receive packages for a year. When we went to Cannes, they, they wanted to put up metal detectors, and the Palais wouldn't let them put up metal detectors, so instead Miramax hired bodyguards for people, um, armed bodyguards. It was really kind of a kooky time. And um, the whole time, I'm just like, it's a movie with a fucking rubber poop monster in it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. Um, but, but people kind of, you know, they judge it, of course, without seeing it. And if they have seen it, 
The people, mostly the, the people who are attacking the movie would never see it. They never bothered to see it. But if they had taken the time to actually watch the movie, they would have been like, we'd be really stupid to go after this movie because it's not a threat to anybody. There, there is a rubber poop monster up there on the screen. <laughs> Kid was right. Um, but they didn't, so, you know, and, and it, we were the way for, for that group, the particular group that went after us, the Catholic League, um, to go after uh, Disney and Miramax, who were the original distributors of the movie. They go after them all the time. They tend to go after Disney quite a bit. Because if you go after Disney, you, you know, you get a lot of press, a lot of coverage, just particularly if you're charging Disney with stuff like being anti-Catholic. Because the weird thing is when, when Harvey and Bob Weinstein bought the movie away from Miramax and then resold it to Lionsgate, the eventual theatrical distributors of the movie, the Catholic League just went away. You know, they made so much noise about, like, we're going to take this movie down and it will never be seen and, and we must stop it because it is a true affront to all Catholics and God hates it and blah, blah, blah. And then um, when Lionsgate picked it up, they were just like, we won, we won. And we were like, how do, how do you win? The movie's still coming out. And they were like, yeah, but Disney's not distributing it. <laughs> but um, I, I was always very curious about the protesters and whatnot, so when the movie came out, I got involved. So I read in the Asbury Park Press that um, there was going to be a protest at our local theater um, in Eatontown, the Sony Multiplex. So I said, uh, holy shit, I want to go, because I read there was going to be 1,500 people there. I said, 1,500 people from my neck of the woods? I'm bound to know some of them because I went to church with them. <clears throat> my mom might be one of them. <laughs> so I, I want to go. And I said to the wife, I was like, let's go to the protest. And she was like, you're fucking nuts. <laughs> I said, no, 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 we should go. It'll be fun. And she said, um, I, I don't know, I don't know. I said, we'll call Brian, my friend Brian Johnson. I said, we'll call Brian. Brian will go too. And so I called up Brian. I was like, Brian, you want to go protest the movie? And he's like, I've been dying to do that for months. So, um, so Brian came over and we grabbed some um, construction paper, like cardboard paper, um, like, you know, those big pieces. We got magic markers and glue and sparklies, and we made signs. So uh, we're working on our signs and working on them really well, right, because we want to blend in. And, um, and one of them said, uh, dogma is dog shit. And the other one said, to hell with dogma. And uh, both of us are really, like, taking our time, just, like, not going outside the lines. And, Is this done? No, a little glitter. You know, really went all out. And then drove over to the, to the multiplex. So we get there, and the 1,500 is about 15, period. And there's, I see a small smattering of people standing at the head of the driveway, very far from the theater. I'm like, wow, that looks kind of weird. I wonder what those people, they must be watching the protest. <laughs> and we pull up, and that is the protest. So um, we got out with our signs, and Brian and I are the youngest people there by about 50 years. <laughs> so it's a bunch of, you know, 65-year-old people and maybe some 50-year-olds. And uh, they're all praying the rosary, and they have a very large crucifix standing there um, with our Lord in his usual pose. <laughs> So they got the crucifix and they're all reciting the rosary, which I know very well because I've gone to Catholic school for many, many years. And Brian didn't, so I said, just jump, jump in line, follow after me. And I'm like, our Father who art in heaven, I'll be thy name. And Brian's just like, well, I was a son, I was a Lord, and Jesus, son of Joseph. I'm like, he's not in the Our Father. <laughs> So uh, we're, we're standing there holding our signs, we're citing the rosary, and uh, we notice that nobody really has any signs, uh, at least none that are nearly as nice as ours. <laughs> There's a dude standing next to me who has a, a, a sign that looks like it was torn out of the bottom of a cardboard box, like just kind of cut out, and it said, dogma is bad. <laughs> and it looked like he wrote it in his car with a pen that he had in his glove compartment. No glue, no sparklies. <laughs> Not a streamer in sight. Really, just no effort whatsoever. <laughs> and he's standing next to me, and I've got my sign. Like, he's, he's holding this sign, it's about this big. And I'm holding mine like this. It's like a sandwich board. And um, we're doing the Our Father, and, and he's holding his. I'm standing next to him. He's like, Our Father, we're in heaven, I'll be like, I'm going to give us. 
Because he put his sign down, right? Because he was so embarrassed that mine was that great. <laughs> and uh, a lady who was um, about three or four people over um, had seen our signs, I guess, had looked at either when we were joining the line or when we had joined the line already. And she came over while we're praying and she's like, you can't have that here. I said, why? And she's like, you can't say that, that kind of thing here. Like, you know, because she was pointing to dogma as dog shit. And she's like, you got to get rid of that. And I'm like, no, but I mean, I want to protest the movie. <laughs> and uh, she's like, but you can't say that kind of, we don't need that kind of help. We don't want to say those kinds of things. I was like, but it's true. The movie is. And she said, well, just take the word off. Take that one, the offensive word off. And I said, but that just says dogma's dog. <laughs> So she said, well, just take off the two letters. I said, so dog, all right. And I bend it up. And so now it says dogma's dog, shh. <laughs> and she goes back to her place. About 15 minutes into maybe the fourth, we're into the fourth decade. Um, news van pulls up. <laughs> I'm not lying. News van pulls up, Channel 12 News, local in our area. So... Um, I'm standing there and I'm just kind of looking at them and thinking, this would be interesting. <laughs> I think about Bolton and I was like, fuck it, they'll never know. These people don't know, they'll never know. Um, and a lady gets out, journalist, kind of well dressed, and she's got a clipboard under her arm. And uh, all of a sudden she kind of looks in my general direction. She goes back to looking around and she comes back and she looks at her clipboard. <laughs> So she comes over, and Brian's like, holy shit. <laughs> um, so the lady comes over, and she's looking at her clipboard right in my face and looking at me, and she's like, are, are you him? <laughs> and I was like, no, that's him. because you know, our Lord was there. And, um, and she goes, no, are you him? Are you the guy? I said, oh, no, no. But I get that all the time. <laughs> and she was like, would you mind if I interviewed you? And I said, go, please. Because <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a press whore. So <laughs> even, you know, if I'm incognito, I'm still happy to give an interview. Um, so she calls the camera guy over and he starts shooting and she's just like, so what are you doing here tonight? And I was like, we're here to protest this movie. And she said, okay, have you seen it? And I said, no, no. <laughs> you know, because I wanted to be in character. Um, I said, no, no, but they tell me it's really, really bad. And she's like, right. She's like, have you seen anything else made by the filmmaker? I said, uh, no, no. Well, I saw Clerks. That was really funny. But... <laughs> I said, but I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna watch anything else. I'm certainly not gonna watch this. And she's like, all right, what's your name? And I was like, Brian, Brian Johnson. <laughs> you know, and Brian's like, oh shit. <laughs> um, and she goes, do you have ID? And I said, uh, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, can I see it? I was like, it's, it's in my wallet, and I didn't bring my wallet. And she's like, why not? And I was like, well, look at these people. <laughs> so uh, she took off, and she's shooting the rest of the line, and she's still shooting me, and she's still whispering to the camera guy, and Johnson's like, we should really go now. <laughs> and uh, finally, they took off, and then that night on the Channel 12 News, sure enough, Brian Johnson... <laughs> was talking about how bad Dogma was. And my mother called me and was like, there's somebody on TV looks just like you. So 
that's my, sorry. That's a very long answer. It has nothing to do with your question. 